Okay, the propeller that came on this boat when we bought was too small. So we got a bigger one. Bigger ain't always better, but there is some uh, um, issues when you run too small of a prop. That's what she said, huh? Oh my gosh. And uh, you, did it. you put it in. That's what she said. <laughs> And we're going to go over um, how to remove this uh, the smaller prop. This is a 13 inch prop. This is the factory pop prop at 14.25 I think and it fits on here. So we're going to go over what issues it causes when you run too small or too big of a prop and you know some general knowledge that I have gained through working with just this. So y'all stay tuned as we go through the intro, and if you like this video, hit that like button. And you can subscribe if you want to see more of this. More of our faces. <laughs> Okay guys, I know there's a bolt boat tool for this, but we're not going to use it here because I don't have it. So things I'm going to use is a rag because this is messy and I don't know when the guy took this off last. I sprayed it off with uh sprayed it down with liquid wrench. If you have metal on metal, you need something like this. Leave the link down below for that. A screwdriver for some prying. A crescent wrench to take off the nut because I don't have that special boat tool. And a block to hold the prop in place as we turn the crescent wrench around so we have something to wedge up in, in here. Okay, so when we drug the boat home, these tabs were already pulled out, so uh, I, I'm guessing he just rode around like that. But the problem with running too small of a prop on your boat is you can easily over rev the engine. And that's probably why you had a valve that bent. So over rev the engine and bent a valve. So let's take this off. I'm going to start by wedging my board in here like so. This is a small prop so it's going to be harder. And it's tight enough. So I'm going to loosen it. And yes guys I did break this up uh, earlier because it was just it was a bear to get off. Once that's off, if uh, your prop is really stuck on here and hasn't been taken off in a while, you, you'll probably have to take your board and beat the crap out of it. And if that don't work, you may have to uh, <laughs> take apart your stern drive and uh, pull the whole shaft out. But we're fortunate we don't have that predicament. So we're going to pull this off. There's a this that comes off too, or it should. That's what the screwdriver's for. It's keyed, so it only goes on one way. Pull your prop off. Now since we're uh, putting on the original prop to this boat, I'm not going to do anything else with that. I'm going to wipe down this. I've already cleaned up these threads a bit. 
I did this prior, but if you want to take this off, it has a certain bevel, so it, it should only go on one way, and it slides over it. Before you slide on your prop, it's a good idea to add some grease in here so it helps keep it breaking loose. So I have my grease gun, and I'm just going to squirt some grease on here. Thought I was. I'm going to end up using my hands. Fill that all up with grease so next time it comes apart easier than what I had. Then you slide your bigger prop back on, or smaller. If I don't know, it's, it'd be hard for somebody to stick a bigger prop than what this is on here. Slides over like that. Make sure it spins. Then this piece right here, I still have grease on my fingers. So I'm going to rub my grease in there. Slide that on there. Like so. And then twist this guy out. There is a torque spec for this, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to tighten it down really good. Put my board up here. See how much less room I have? Much easier. Okay. And then you want to line up, make sure some of these keyways are lined up. There we go. And you only get you only be able to press down three of these keyways. So it has a little hole in it. Take your screwdriver and just push it down. And it's done. Okay, so we got the bigger prop on the boat. We're good. And uh, now they say you should uh, do this like every year to make sure your prop can come off and re-grease it and things like that. Because this was actually the first time, didn't show this in the video, was a bear to get off. Beating it with a stick, things like that. This Pretty noisy too, it's like metal, you know. Metal on wood, I was, yeah, it's clank, 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 and right. it was just loud. So, new props on. This one probably blew the engine. And that's why we got the boat for a thousand dollars. So, if this was helpful for you, give us a like. It's down there, it looks like this. If you like our channel, subscribe. We try to do new things uh, every week. And uh, right now we release new recipes every Wednesday. And then one or two videos on the weekend. So y'all stay tuned for that. If you want to uh, binge watch, we have over 40 episodes of this boat being restored. Right. So From go. the ground up. So it's a lot. String her up. And we're also working on a Jeep. We have uh, over 10 episodes on that. And we're doing exploring. So as soon as this boat's done, I think what exploring's going to turn into. That's what I'm waiting for. So, y'all please take care.